Hi everyone, this is Malishwari. Welcome to our channel Chemistry with Malishwari. Today our topic is Merits and Demerits of Bohr's Atomic Theory. In the last class we have completed our postulates of Bohr's Atomic Theory. So now see what are the merits and demerits are also called as limitations of Bohr's Atomic Theory. Means what he explained very well are called merits. What he could not explain the things are called as demerits or limitations. So, what did he explain the merits? So, what did he explain the limitations or the limitations or the demerits? Now, see what are the merits of Bohr's theory. So, according to Bohr, first merit of Bohr's theory is this theory explains the various spectral series of hydrogen atom in a very well manner. E theory then Gurinch explains this in the he explained the various spectral series of hydrogen atom. So hydrogen atom lo unna various spectral series Gurinch ikada explain chedam jirigindi. So what are the spectral series here? When an electron emits some energy, the electron can be jumps from higher energy level to lower energy level. So in that particular time, the radiation can be emitted. So high level energy uh, electron ane the low level ki jump out to some energy ane the emit ches to me. Ala emit ches na pudu, so it will be forms as a series, spectral series. So that will be the Lyman series, Balmer series, etc. Kavati. So the spectrum of various spectral series of hydrogen gurinchi chala baga explain chedam jarigindi. See, second postulate, this theory also explains the Spectral series of ions like helium plus, lithium 2 plus, etc. So, Bohr explained also about the spectral series of the some ions. Spectral series of some ions also he explained very well. Example, helium plus, lithium 2 plus, etc. So, Ilante Kuni ionic spectral series kuda Bohr explained very well. He explained the spectral series of some ions like these ones. So, third merit is this theory is successful in the aspect of calculating the radius and energy of each orbit of hydrogen atom. So, this theory also explains about how to calculate the radius and energy of each orbit. So what is radius? The distance from nucleus to the orbit. So nucleus to orbit can be calculated very well. And how much energy the electron can be revolved. So in the energy to electron ane the revolve outundi. Alage radius of an electron from nucleus to orbit. So, these are the merits of Bohr's atomic theory. Okay. So, the first merit is this theory explains the various spectral series of hydrogen atom. Very well manner. And the second one is this theory also explains the spectral series of the ions like helium plus and lithium 2 plus etc. So, the third one is this theory was successful uh, to explain the radius and energy of the each orbit of hydrogen atom. So, energy, uka orbit nth energy lo undi and how, uh, what is the distance from nucleus to orbit anedi. So, radius and energy of the orbit anedi. So, easy ga radius and energy of orbit anedi explain chedam jarigindi. So, these are about the merits of Bohr's theory. So, let us move on to demerits or limitations of Bohr's atomic theory. The first one is, this theory could not explain a very fine spectrum of hydrogen atom. So, this theory could not explain about a very fine spectrum of hydrogen atom. So, hydrogen atom yukka fine spectrum gurinchi explain chayledu. So, what is meant by fine spectrum? So, fine spectrum means, when electrons are revolving around the nucleus, so electrons are maybe nucleus should to thirugutu napadu. Sometimes the electron may be jumps from lower level to higher level and higher level to lower level. 
सो हई लैवल नीचे लोयर लैवल की लो लैवल नीचे हई लैवल की वेल जरूर सो वे हई लैवल हय्यर एनर्जी लैवल टू लोयर एनर्जी लैवल द एलक्ट्रा कैन एमेट सम क्वांटिटी आफ् एनर्जी सो हई एनर्जी लैवल नीचे लोयर एनर्जी लैवल की एलक्ट्रा अने जंपड़ो सम रेडिये अनेमेटी सो दो रेडिये पास इंटू ए प्रिज सो प्रिज की पंप सो दो रेडिये पास इंटू ए प्रिज इट वि लाइन सो ईच आर्बिट कैन गिव ए सिंगि लाइन दट इज का लाइमन सीरी बामर सीरी एक्सेट्रा ओके बट वेड दो रेडिये आर् पास इंटू ए हई रिजल्यूशन स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर सो सें रेडिये हई रिजल्यूशन स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर की पंप इट वि ए ग्रूप आफ् लाइन दे आर् वेरी नियर आर् वेरी क्लोज टू ईच अदर सो एपड़ते हई पवर् स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर ऐ आर् हई रिजल्यूशन स्पेक्ट्रोमीटर की पंपस्ते दो रेडिये कैन बी गिव ए ग्रूप आफ् लाइन और अभी दगर दगर लाइन ला मन की कई बट हि डि नाट एक्सप्लेन वै दी मेनी लाइन आर् अपीयर दट वन इज द फस्ट डी मेरी कम टू सैकंड वन The second demerit is this theory could not explain the spectra of atoms have more than one electron. So one kante yeko electron unna atoms lo kani ionic spectra kani he did not give any information. He explained only the ions with one electron like atom of hydrogen and helium ion and lithium two plus ion. सो हाइड्रोजन आटम स्पेक्ट्रा एक्सप्लेन हीलियम प्लस अयोनिक स्पेक्ट्रा चपार अं एल टू प्लस लिथिम टू प्लस अयोन स्पेक्ट्रा आलो चपार बट हि डिड नाट एक्सप्लेन द आटम्स और अयान हाव मोर दैन वन एलक्ट्रा इफ वी सी दीज थिंग्स हाइड्रोजन हाव वन एलक्ट्रा हीलियम प्लस आलो हाज वन एलक्ट्रा हाउ हीलियम एटॉमिक नंबर इज टू helium atomic number is equal to 2 here there is a plus means it lost one electron one electron loss ayindi so helium plus contains only one electron when we see lithium 2 plus lithium atomic number is 3 atomic number 3 means it contains three electrons here we we can observe here 2 plus 2 uh, plus charge means it lost two electrons सो रे एलक्ट्रा मूडिट लास्ते एलक्ट्रा वस्तुटी हि डिड नाट एक्सप्लेन द आटम्स और अयान वित् मोर दैन वन एलक्ट्रा हि डिड नाट एक्सप्लेन द स्पेक्ट्र आफ् आटम्स और अयान हाविंग मोर दैन वन एलक्ट्रा कंटे यु एलक्ट्रा उटम्स अयान का वाट स्पेक्ट्रेमात्रो तो एक्सप्लेन चेयले अंड he did not say anything about the uh, reason also why he did not explain okay adi second one let us move on to next one he fails to explain gman effect and stark effect gman effect gurinchi gaani stark effect gurinchi gaani ye maatram explain cheyaledu now see what is gman effect and stark effect gman effect means when the spectral lines of an atom passes into the magnetic field so magnetic field nunchi spectral line ni manam pampinchinappudu it gives the splitting of spectral lines okay so magnetic field nunchi spectral lines ni manam pass chesinappudu it will be split into many lines this is called gman effect he did not explain why these lines are splitting into these many lines at the same time when these spectral lines are passed into electric field this also gives many spectral lines so electric field lo nunchi pampinchina magnetic field lo pampinchina the spectral lines will be splitting into many lines this he did not explain gman effect means splitting of spectral lines in the presence of magnetic field stark effect means splitting of spectral lines in the presence of electric field so electric field presence lo spectral lines split aithe nemo stark effect antaru and magnetic field presence lo spectral lines split aithe nemo gman effect antaru 
So he did not explain these two effects. So next one is that this theory assumes that electron has a particle nature. Bohr said that electron has a particle but De Broglie said that electron has wave nature that means it has a dual nature. So this is again a skewed wave nature of electron proposed by De Broglie. So De Broglie said that electron has a dual nature but whereas Bohr said that it has a particle nature. That's why Bohr's theory is against to De Broglie's wave nature. Okay, let us move on to next limitation. This theory gives the position and velocity of electron accurately. So what Bohr said that we can measure the position, exact position of an electron and the velocity of an electron simultaneously and we can measure it accurate, accurately. And the electron yuka position, we can say the electron revolving around the nucleus of an atom in a circular path. So that is called an orbit. So orbit lo electron aite tirubutundi, we can measure the position. But we cannot measure the velocity of an electron simultaneously according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, Bohr said that we can measure the position and velocity of an electron accurately and simultaneously. Okay, sorry, electron position and the velocity of an electron ni manam measure chayachu. Ani, Bohr shepan. According to Heisenberg uncertainty principle, we cannot measure the position and velocity of an electron simultaneously. Okay, sorry, manam electron position kani, electron velocity we cannot measure. That is according to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. So, this theory, Bohr's theory also against to Heisenberg uncertainty principle. Okay, and next one, this theory could not explain the formation of chemical bonds. So, only the valency electrons are involved in chemical bonding. But he did not say about anything about chemical bond formation. So, how the electrons are involved in chemical bonding. And so, he did not explain anything about chemical bonding. These are the merits and limitations of Bohr's atomic theory. I hope you understand this topic. We will meet again in the next class.